Hello everyone, Fast Eddie here, and this video is going to be about how to go through a slalom, or solemn, or a weave, or whatever you want to call it. So of course I'm out here in my favorite parking lot again, got my awesome t-shirt on, shut up and practice. So after I talk for a little bit, I want to show you some techniques so you can go out there and practice as well. Now this is, has many different layers of why this is so beneficial to practice things like this. So first, as you can see what I got set up right here, so I have four large cones and they're about 25-ish feet away. So I just kind of walked it out 25, 26 feet, something like that, away from each other. And the reason why I put them so far apart is so you can able to get up into second gear about 20, 25 miles per hour. So the purpose of going, you can always make the cones closer and say you go 15 feet apart, 10 feet apart, if you're just practicing the low speed stuff. But this is specifically to practice and understand and really get confidence in counter steering. So I made a couple videos before about what counter steering is and then a first person video of actually demonstrating it. So just as a reminder, if you wanna go right on a motorcycle and you're going you know, faster, 20, 20 miles per hour and up, you need to push right and the bike will lean and you'll go to the right. Or if you push left, the bike will lean to the left and you're going to the left. So if you're going 20, 25 miles per hour down through these cones and you wanna weave around them, you have to counter steer. If you move your body around, you'll never make it through and you'll just hit all the cones. So you have to push forward quickly on the handlebar in the direction you want to go to get around the cones. Once you know you cleared the other cone, you're going 20 miles per hour, you have to push on the other handlebar forward to get the bike to lean the other way. So this is very be beneficial to practice to get used to that counter steering or actually understanding how it works and how quickly your bike can lean. As well, if you're just riding around your neighborhood, you're cruising at 20, 30 miles per hour and someone you know, goes to walk across the street and they don't see you or someone opens up their car door, you can kind of get away from them quickly. There's a pothole or a tree branch up ahead and uh, say you didn't see it or something happens and you just want to get around it really quickly, it, it allows you to quickly get around an obstacle by just pushing forward on the handlebar quickly. The faster you push, the faster the bike's going to lean out of the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on the bike, I'm going to head down that way, I'll come back down this way a couple times, I'll do it back and forth. And the only thing I'm going to be doing is keeping a nice steady throttle. You don't want to be going on and off the throttle while doing this. Try to keep it steady. If you don't have cruise control, good. This is not to be cruise control. Hold your throttle steady. So you have to get used to, and this is beneficial for any type of riding, holding the throttle nice and steady whenever you're doing anything with the handlebars. So if you're practicing low speed and you're trying to turn around sharp cones or whatever you're doing, and you're doing this, it's gonna be very difficult. So try to be your own cruise control. Let your hand be your cruise control. Nice steady throttle, 20, 25 miles per hour. Whatever the speed it is you start in the beginning, try to maintain that the whole time. It's not gonna work out too well if you start off at 20, and then you slow your speed down for the last two cones, and now you're not even counter steering. Now you're just directly steering the bike very slowly, and it's a completely different technique. So your challenge is from start to finish, maintain your speed. And it's gotta be like 20 miles per hour minimum. That's what I recommend doing. 25, 30 feet apart, whatever you wanna do. If you go farther apart, you may be able to go a little bit faster. But the main idea is pushing forward. Make a conscious decision. Okay, I'm going left around this cone, I need to push left. Now I made it around that cone, here comes another one, I need to push forward right and see what the bike will do. Guarantee it will work. So I'll go through a couple laps, I'll go back and forth, I'll demonstrate. Um, nothing to do with body position. You just sit on the bike like normal. You're not leaning one way or the other. You're just riding down the street and someone opens up their car door, you need to get out of the way left quickly, just push left and the bike will do everything else for you. So, if, um, so watch that, I'll do a couple times back and forth. I'll actually go down this way you could, so you can see what I'm doing from the back view and I'll try to do something else which may be a little bit cool for a, a different perspective. So I'm gonna jump on the bike, show you a couple demonstrations, check it out.
couple things to notice again. I'm going through steady throttle. I'm simply, literally pushing forward on the handlebar. That's all I'm doing. I'm not moving my body whatsoever. I'm not doing anything with my legs. I'm not doing anything at all. Just pushing forward and the bike will do everything else. Again, this is why it's so important to understand and practice techniques like this. So if something happens, you have to move out of the way, push forward. Nothing else is gonna make the bike do this. You could jump up and down, you could push down, you could stand on the handlebar. The handlebars don't move like this. They move like this. So that's how you steer the bike. You have to push forward. What does down do? The tire doesn't move. You're not gonna do anything. It's forward on the handlebar. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna jump on the bike again. I'm gonna hold the throttle. I'm actually gonna try to hold the phone so you can have a perspective of me, what I'm doing. Remember, to go right, you can push right, right? But you can also pull left. It does the same thing. So when I go through and swerve right now, and I'm going down the, down the weave, I'll be pulling and pushing to get the bike to do whatever it is I want to do. So hopefully you can see that perspective. I'm going to come by and uh, I'll hand off the phone like a football. So if you couldn't see too well, sorry, no big deal. Or I try to get the phone without stalling the bike. Either way, the main idea is what you saw me coming down and just pushing forward on the bar. When I was holding it with one hand and I wanted to go left, well, how do I go left if I can't push left? Remember, you could go left by pushing left or you could go left by pulling right. And that's what I had to do. Either way, it's a forward or backwards input on the handlebars to allow yourself to do this. So I highly recommend if you don't have cones or anything else, get anything, get pine cones, Get water bottles, get tennis balls, get whatever you want and put them 25, 30 feet apart. Get up to speed, get up to 20, 25 miles per hour. Go back and forth and really practice and really think about what you're doing. Am I actually pushing forward on the bars? And how quickly do I push forward? What does the bike do? You have to get that experience to feel what this feels like in order to combine your knowledge of reading books and watching videos and listening to people like me or whatever else. But you have to combine it with the experience of knowing, wow, this actually works. If I push faster, the bike actually leans faster. Amazing, right? You have to have that experience yourself. Practicing your throttle control, where you're looking, not down at the cones, you have to look ahead, right? And you're just using your peripheral vision to kind of manage yourself of where you are. All these things come into play. And again, it's gonna be tremendously beneficial if you master this, if you're out riding around the neighborhood or whatever else you're doing, somebody jumps out, a ball comes bouncing in front of you, whatever else, you could push knowing all I have to do is push forward fast on the left bar and the bike's gonna go that way quickly. So it's really important to know that, understand that, and practice that. So I'd like to say thanks again for everybody who uh, subscribes and watches the video and comments, and everybody who supports me on Patreon, if you feel like you, need, you wanna support me in any way. So you can go on there, I'll put the link in the description. You can support me on Patreon, and that'd be awesome. If not, no big deal, I'll keep on making videos. So until next time, see you later.